eccentricity and distance between the directrix and focus. For drawing this problem, assume that given data is eccentricity is 2 by 3, distance between the directrix and focus is 65 mm. First draw the vertical line of any length, name this as AB, locate the center point, this is O and from O draw a perpendicular to AB as shown here. After that, so at a distance of 65 from O, locate the focus. Now divide this OF into some number of equal divisions. That you have to decide based on the eccentricity. Here eccentricity is 2 by 3. That means add numerator and denominator 2 plus 3 equal to 5. So divide OF into 5 parts as shown here. You can use the inclined line method to divide this into 5 equal parts. Next, you have to locate the vertex. Vertex you locate at second division from focus because this numerator indicates the distance from the focus. So here numerator is 2. That's why from the focus select the second division. That means somewhere here you will you'll get the vertex. So this is the vertex point. At vertex draw a perpendicular to OF as shown here. Then take VF as radius. V as center, draw a semicircle and call these intersection points as E and E. Then draw a line joining OE and extend it. So, this is the first vertex. To locate the other vertex, draw a 45 degree line. Draw a 45 degree line from focus as shown here. This OE extended line in this focus will intersect somewhere here. From here, drop a perpendicular. This is the other vertex V2. After that, erase this part for degree line. So, draw OE extended line on the bottom side also. Now, after vertex, locate some number of divisions as shown here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and this one you call as 7. So, in this way, Take some number of divisions after vertex. So these the distance between these points is not equal. This is your choice. Draw a perpendicular to OF passing through 1 as shown here. Call this intersection point as 1 dash. Extend this to bottom side. Similarly, repeat the procedure at 2. Draw a perpendicular to this OF line and passing through point 2. This intersection point you call as 2 dash extend this to bottom side. Repeat the same procedure at point, points 3, 4, 5 and 6. Okay. Take 1, 1 dash. Take this 1, 1 dash as radius. F as center. Draw an arc on to 1, 1 dash line only as shown here. Draw an arc onto 1 1 dash line only. This is the center. This 1 1 dash radius is this. Call this point as P1. With same radius 1 1 dash FS center, draw an arc on the bottom side also. This you call as some Q1. Next take 2 2 dash as radius. This 2 2 dash as radius. Again FS center, draw an arc onto this 2 2 dash line. Top side 1 arc, bottom side 1 arc. As shown here. This is the arc. This is the center. This point you call as P2. Bottom side point you call as Q2. Next take 3 3 dash radius. 3 3 dash radius. Again FS center. Draw an arc onto this 3 3 dash line. This point you call as P3. Bottom side another arc. This is Q3. Next take 4 4 dash radius. FS center, draw an arc onto 4 4 dash line only. This is P4, bottom side Q4. Next take 5 5 dash radius. Again FS center, draw an arc. This is P5, bottom side Q5. Then take 6 6 dash radius. Again FS center, draw an arc. This is P6, bottom side Q6. 
Next take 7, 7 dash radius. Again FS center. If you draw an arc that will intersect somewhere here. Intersect somewhere here. This point is P7. Don't draw a smooth freehand curve joining V, P1, P2, P3, P4, P5, P6, P7, Q6, Q5, Q4, Q3, Q2, Q1 and V. Try a smooth freehand curve. So this is the ellipse. Next, how to draw the tangent and normal to the ellipse? This is the uptrend ellipse. Suppose I will take one point somewhere here like this. At this point P, I want to get the tangent and normal. Then what I would do is draw a line joining P to F. Then draw a perpendicular to this PF until it intersects with the directrix as shown here. This point you call as some T. Then line joining this T and P is the tangent. Perpendicular to this TG line is the normal. Perpendicular is normal. 